on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. We go inside the Bahama Mamas Club. PC mods bring cats, zombies and North Yankton to GTA 5 on PC. And the Rockstar editor continues to impress. It's all here on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I'm your host James Jarvis and this week I am joined as ever by Mr Trophy Ian Wilson. Hello. Hello Ian. So big news this week about the Bahama Mamas Club. Yeah. Um, we mentioned it, well a lot of you mentioned it in last week's comments because uh, last week we brought you the information that there was a lot of textures relating to dancing uh -huh. in the GTA 5 files that people have found in the PC version and we were speculating on whether that could mean a new arcade machine was coming or some kind of dance mini yeah. game. And a lot of you said, well, obviously, it's related to the Bahama <laughs> Mamas Club. Bahama yeah. Mamas Club. And we went, well, we haven't covered that on the show. So we uh, now we're going to show you inside the club because um, there is a way of getting in there. We tried to get in there uh, did, yesterday. Yeah. Didn't go so well, did it? No, no. It seems to be. It seems to be that um, it's been patched out of the the versions now. Obviously, like when people originally found their way into it, uh, Rockstar must have taken notice of that and and, and rejigged it. I mean, we uh, there was like two different ways at the time people had discovered to get into it. Uh, we tried both of them out. One of them was in GTA Online, having one player kind of take cover against the front door of the club, and then. Quite specifically, uh, another player gets a fire truck. It has to be a fire truck. It has truck. to be a fire truck, apparently. Or, I guess, like another I think similarly big vehicle. Yeah, something that's going to, like, bounce Give you, a push, you somewhere. Yeah. yeah, this is, like, Noah J456 has yes. got footage of this. Yeah, um, so, so, yeah, and you use that truck to ram the other person kind of through the door into the club because once you pass that kind of dividing uh, door, that's it, you're inside... Um, the, the sort of area they've obviously tried to keep locked off. Yeah, and the, the the other way to do it seems to be in the well, used to be in the deathmatch editor. You used to be able to put a player marker. Yeah, down. well, it's when when you when you're in the creator mode and flying your little marker around the map, you can hit the touchpad to change camera view and actually drop yourself into the world mm -hmm. where the marker is. And you did used to be able to sort of slip that marker behind the door into the sort of lobby area switch your camera into it and that would actually drop you inside the building you could walk around again we've tried this now and you can't push the marker through the door so they've obviously put some sort of solid block clever behind there to to, to stop that from happening unfortunately yeah. so. but that doesn't mean we can't show you the inside of it because as we said uh noah j456 yeah has put footage of it online so here it is now it's important to note this is only in the next gen versions you can't Go and see this. Well, you can't see it in any versions anymore. No. But back in the day, it was yeah. only on the, um, I say next gen. Current I mean, gen. Current yes. gen, obviously. PS4 and Xbox One and uh -huh. PC, I, yeah. I imagine. Um, so it was only in those versions. But what is inside? Well, a fully kitted out club, yeah. pretty much. It's pretty you've jazzy, got, isn't it? You've got um, tables and chairs, obviously, with little uh, drinks menus on yeah. there, cocktail menus. Uh, you've got a, a whole bar, uh, a dance floor, DJ podiums. Yeah. I think there's even a giant TV on the wall yeah. as well in there. Obviously, the important thing to note here is the dance floor with... Um, sort of flashing light-up panels. Flashing squares. Yeah. Uh, we've seen something very similar to this in the Ballad of Gay Tony, uh, where you can go in and do a dance. Uh, obviously, in that, all of the people dancing are NPCs. Yeah. Now, if this was <laughs> to come to GTA 5 and GTA Online... Imagine if all of those NPCs were real people. Other players. And you could yeah. go in the club, see people dancing, and go up and go, oh, <laughs> I'll do some synchronized dancing with yeah. those guys. <laughs> uh, and you'll probably get XP bonus for it. Probably. I would knows. have thought. Yeah. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, it's unusual that Rockstar would model this entire club uh, and not yeah, use it at all. Because it's pretty detailed, isn't it? So. Yeah. I mean, because even the like Tequila La, you do go in there. In a mission, just the once. one, yeah. Uh, but at least you go in there. Yeah. Uh, this club isn't used, but whether it's yeah, there's a possibility it's cut content. Yeah. Uh, and it's always been there, but the fact that it's not in the PS3 and 360 versions, mm. and it is in the PS4, nearly right. said next yeah. gen again. Oh, PS4, PS4 and Xbox, Xbox One, one. version. That, uh, it might suggest that yeah. it's coming. 
yeah. in one form or another. I'd really like to see it. That's it. I mean, I'm not sure whether anyone's investigated whether it's in the PC version as well. I would have thought if any version, the PC version is most likely to have some sort of trainer or something available where you might be able to actually move sort of through walls and, 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 and get in there and investigate it. So I'm, I assume someone's probably looking into that if it's not been done already. Yeah, so if, you, if you've if you been in, if you know of a new way to get in, let us know in the comments uh, below or get in touch on Twitter at GTAV O'Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTAV O'Clock. And speaking of the PC version... Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good segue. Thanks. Um, we're going to move on to talk about some of the GTA mods. Obviously, yes. this is a huge thing for the PC community, it was massive in GTA 4. The ICE mods, I think, made that game look it was incredible, amazing. Yeah. Uh, and there's been already been quite a few out there. Uh, you obviously some of the ones you'd expect. You can go to North Yankton. Yeah, yeah, that was something we we covered originally um, in the the PS3 version when there was that short-lived glitch where yeah. you could get back into that. Obviously, somebody's done a sort of slightly more stable version by the looks of it in the PC version because you can just jump into that area. Drive around. Yeah. Uh, you can play as a cat who also throws Molotov cocktails. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird one. That's good. That's, uh, I think you can play, basically play as any character. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's trainers available where you can just hop into a menu and basically select any character model you want, whether it's any of the NPCs or mm. the animals or you, yeah, you can like switch to a giant whale and drop yourself into the city, something like that if you it's really a, want it. I guess so, it's a bit like the director mode. Yeah. But but in, in the actual in, game, yeah. yeah. With all the things happening. Exactly, yeah. Uh, there's already a slight graphics enhancer out there, uh, which you can see on screen now. Yeah, I think it's just a sweet FX mm. thing, um, which I, I believe is like a kind of a um, I've seen it as a graphic Enhancement injector or something. Like that. Yeah, I don't. It's, it's, it's a bit over my head, but it's it's some, it's a it's a something you can apply to any PC game. I think yeah. or a lot of PC games. It's not just for GTA Five, um, but people have tried it within GTA Five, and it has kind of improved the visuals a bit and made everything a bit crisper and got rid of a bit of some of the washed out textures and things like that. So yeah, so you can go and check that out. The snow, you can make it snow in the mm. PC version. Obviously, everyone loves it when it snows. Yeah, a bit yeah. out of season for it now. Exactly. Yeah, I mean the 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 video that I've seen of the snow is actually in the in the online. Uh, um, now, whether I'm not sure whether you can apply it to single player as well, because obviously we know the snow in GTA came to just came to the online yeah. over Christmas last the year before last, in fact. So um, so that's been running again on um, PC on the online version. Obviously, it's a bit of a grey area, that, because modifying and changing stuff related to the online, Rockstar have already said they're not <laughs> very happy about no, people well, doing that. Well, you wouldn't that, be, would you? Obviously, they want to have a level playing field for everyone, so that there are certain risks attached if you do decide to, to modify online stuff. Yeah, um, it's probably best that you just watch the videos of... Maybe, of yeah, yeah, if you want to be safe. Enjoy so. them that way. Uh, and there's also a, a sort of zombie mode. Yeah. You can turn yourself into a zombie and then be invincible yeah. using one of these trainers. Exactly, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's, it's obviously the main thing is swapping the character model over and making them invincible. But there are sort of subtle other enhancements to it as well. Like there's a kind of like... Slightly sort of grimy color filter over everything, sort of a bit off color. Yeah, it's a bit Obviously, red. The isn't skies it? are all red it's and nice. and gloomy as well. So yeah, it does look pretty apocalyptic. <laughs> so all that's really cool. And then obviously on top of that, you've got the Rockstar Editor. Yes. Where you can make super awesome movies. Exactly. Uh, so we've got some to point out. I think they've been on the Rockstar Newswire as well. Yeah. In case you've missed that, uh, Rage Dev has created this called Los Santos and Blaine County, which is. Uh, basically like, a trailer yeah exactly yeah it's like another sort of trailer for the game it's uh like they, he's done a lot of sort of quick cuts in time with the music mm. it it sort of looks a bit like a rock star like it's on the same lines it as a rock star yeah. trailer um and it's stuff that we've discussed before like mixes of fast action cut with sort of more relaxed stuff like someone playing a little round of golf mm -hmm. or just like strolling down the beach cut with like cars flying across the streets and blowing up and stuff so. yeah that's very good uh, the thief yes the video called the thief is also very good and you said this guy has also done another one yeah so i think rockstar put his video the thief on the newswire uh he has since done another video um called hotline miami 
which you might be able to guess what that's based on. Is, has he got an owl mask on? It has indeed got a big owl mask on, um, and it's sort of a big shootout in a police station, but it's, it's really well cut together, like lots of uh, sort of good camera angles and following the action around, so it's definitely worth checking out. And it's got a soundtrack uh, using tracks by a French artist called Carpenter Brute, who I'm a big fan of, so ah. it's definitely worth checking that out. Yeah, there's loads of these um, GTA videos now popping up on the internet. So if you've made one, let us know about it in the comments or get in touch on Twitter and Facebook. But until then, that's about it for this week's show. Uh, We will see you next week at 5pm BST.